Hello everybody and welcome back to Mastering Fusion 2.5. In this video, we're doing the text splitter object. Because I feel like everyone, every, every single game dev needs to know the fact that the text splitter exists and it is such a great text object. You need to see uh, what you can do with this stuff. I'm assuming you heard of Undertale for instance. That game uses a similar version of this, but uh, it, it essentially just allows you to play around with text really, really flexibly, and you can do a lot of stuff with it. So, let's get into it. Let's add a text splitter object to the frame, and this object, we can have a bunch, we have a bunch of shit. So, first of all, we can set the text of the text splitter in here, we can see. Um, you can modify things like tab width and other stuff. Uh, you can change like image properties you have uh, the size of the image use a transparent color and whatever just margins alignment a bunch of stuff use text functions yeah this stuff is really powerful for uh just creating text boxes in games for example so you, you let's say you'd have like a, a dialogue box in like undertale or something right and uh in that box You'd have a bunch of characters, and you know how like the text can like shake and like sine wave around and stuff. You can do that in this uh, text splitter object. So what is the best way to do anything with this? Well, you saw me double click on the text splitter object, and it opens up the setup uh, window here, and you need to click on generate. And this is the quickest way, so... Uh, my favorite font to use for this is Terminal, obviously, you can, you can get any, um... Any font that is, like, uh, monospace, and... You know, is this kind of, like, pixelated version. I mean, you, you can definitely use other, other monospace fonts, such as... Well, let's go for, uh... Mm, Let's go for con consolas here, and you you can see it, it'll work, but it, it it'll have the shitty anti-aliasing that comes with it. So yeah, usually usually these more pixelated fonts are better. So well, I usually set my character size for this to like ten by twenty four or something or less. Yeah, just just play with it until the characters look right uh, in this chart map over here, and yeah, it's really not not that much of a thing. Uh, you have to pay attention to these like incomplete Windows fonts to uh, set the size correctly. So, in terminal size multiples of fourteen look the best. Okay, and again, as you can see, size twelve. Go for size 24, just show you what that looks like. Uh, 20... 24 by 32. See? This is... Like... This is a really good font for like a multi... Like a... Pixel... Pixel game. See the guy, how good this looks? Right? And another one would be like... 28 and like try multiples of 9 6 as well um, so 28 looks something like this uh, so it's slightly less wide and as you can see yeah it's it's, it's a really good font I like this font a lot it's amazing we're, we're just gonna use this uh, example here uh, uh, we're gonna pick size 24 because Never used it before, so yeah, it looks pretty cool. I think, yeah, looks all right. Okay, and the fun, the really cool thing with this is okay. So uh, this this is like no animation, no nothing special, right? And you can add animations to this. So for example, we can have a sine wave. You might know you might 
know this from Undertale. Let's set the speed to five and let's set the frequency to one. So like every character is gonna like bob up up and down like differently and let's set the height to 10 for example and you'll see like it's gonna move by five pixels up and down every character look look at that that's fucking amazing like shit let's increase the speed or is the frequency different let's see whoa <laughs> yeah you can play with this a lot Set the speed to 2 See, it's it's just so so good Okay, okay let's set the height to 20 Frequency to, I don't know, 3 <laughs> Yeah, you can play with this stuff as much as you want. Uh, maybe, maybe 20 is like a lot. Let's set it back to 5. Yeah, look at this. To get like the, the shaky text in Undertale, you enable callbacks. I think all you need is the, the character callback. And you'll see, for example, uh, let's let's go back to stutter frame. Actually, no. Uh, so in order to actually make the text shake, like each character shake, you need to go uh, callback on character. Whenever a character is being drawn, uh, you have you have a bunch of options here. So, uh, for instance, you have you have like the the character position, the character target position that the, the object uh, chooses for you, and you can modify that randomly which allows the text to shake so let's do that um, we're going to call back character destination X set that to character uh, no callback character destination X plus random random 3 okay and we do the same to the Y. And we go callback character and destination Y. Uh, we'll set that to callback character destination Y plus random three. Look at what that's gonna do. It's gonna make the text all shaky. Yes. Nice. And now you can add like the character scrolling effect right so where it like adds a bunch of characters to the to the end of this let's see if i remember how to do it because i haven't done it in a, in a while so let's have a multiple string on this guy um dialogue 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 way yes okay and so every, what is it like, three tenths of a second, three hundredths of a second, yes. Um, now, change all rule text to um, fuck. <laughs> I think it's strings. Left, so left. Uh, left substring of alterable strings of dialogue number of characters um, and we want this to go up by one so length of get string plus one, I think. Okay, uh, let's get like a text to display. Uh, Arellis makes the best click team fusion 2.5 tutorials. 
to to totally fuck I cannot spell it. Tutorial series on the planet. All right, and we're gonna get this text to display properly. So, um, okay. You know, what, let's let's make the frame bigger, uh, or like resize the screen size. Let's start. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Um. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll play around with this some more, and I may I might make a part two specifically for the text splitter, and what kind of effects we can make with this. But yeah, I, th I think we'll leave it at this for now. This tutorial was a, was a, a bit more laid back, a bit more chill, a bit more just casual. But I mean, we're gonna have some real stuff coming back. Uh, after this so yeah I mean th this felt really good this just coming back uh, to the videos like I, I haven't recorded another video in like a week and this this was a great experience for me so thank you everyone so much for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial goodbye